Hey guys, Christopher Green, AMTV Alternative Media Television and BitcoinRich.com. To learn more, click the link below. Broadcasting from the greatest country in the world, the United States of America, from the beautiful state of Hawaii. Hope all of you are doing very, very well today. It is a brand new month, September 1st, 2020, and we have a jam packed day today. I'm doing a lot of updates at school. Also, we've got a jam-packed month as we lead into the November election. And this is going to be a very, very contentious election with Donald Trump versus Biden and Harris. And we will see how this will play out. But today, I want to talk about what's going on with the U.S. dollar, what's going on with inflation, and some of the record moves in the cryptocurrency blockchain space. In fact, just about a week ago, I said that I was very, very bullish on August 27th, 2020. And this is when cryptocurrency was actually selling off quite a bit. But I said, no, we are still in the disbelief phase of a new bull market. I am more optimistic than I've ever been before. In fact, if you watch our last video on YouTube, this is what I said. I said that people are far too pessimistic and we are about to turn the corner. And I think that the economy, not the real economy, this is what you need to understand. There's a distinction between the real economy and the blockchain markets, the real economy and FANG stocks, the real economy and where all these bailouts are going to. Okay, the real economy is not doing well. I'd expect more foreclosures. I'd expect more bankruptcies. But they will solve the problem. And this is a guarantee, in my opinion, with universal basic income. So they're going to be rolling out a new version of socialism for all Americans very, very soon. This is a byproduct, of course, of the stimulus payments already, the unemployment checks that are now, I think, three to 400 a week. These will continue forever. You see, they're going to blow up the debt as big as they possibly can, and then they're moving to an entirely new financial system, which I've been talking about for over a decade, and this is happening now. And I believe this is going to happen regardless if Donald Trump wins his re-election or it is the Biden-Harris campaign that wins. In fact, Biden and Kamala Harris have both announced their UBI universal basic income plan. So don't get me wrong, there is an incredible distinction between the real economy, which is why you need to be learning new skills and you need to be challenging yourself. You need to be very, very optimistic and realize everything is going to be fine on Wall Street. Everything is going to be just fine. I'm expecting gold and silver to do very well. I'm expecting blockchain and cryptocurrencies to do very, very well, just like they are today. I'm expecting FANG stocks, although we're a little long in the tooth with these multiple stock splits, Apple at a $2 trillion plus valuation. Now we have Elon Musk, wealthier than Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook. So we're a little long in the tooth in the stock market. But the more money they print and the more bailouts they pump, you know, they're pumping up a balloon, the better. It's only going to prop these assets up and send the dollar on a swift, continuous decline. In fact, if you take a look at the DXY, just pull up a dollar chart here. You can see I've got it on the day, but if I bring it out to about six months, you can see we've been on a steady, precipitous drop and decline from about 102 on the Dixie all the way down to 92, about to hit levels that we have not seen since what was it? Let's see here. March 2020, we've already broken through that trough. If we bring it back all the way to three years, we haven't seen the dollar trading this low since early of January, first quarter of 2018. Now, I think this will sink even lower. Again, they're printing as much currency as possible. This is their agenda. This is their plan. Give all Americans that have lost their jobs, you know, a little bit of cash here and there that they print from nothing and then prop up everything else to new stratospheric highs. I mean, you think I'm being facetious, but I'm not. This is actually what they're doing. This is what they want. This is what they have declared. And this is going to happen whether or not Trump or Biden Harris is elected to the ticket. So you can pretty much just follow the dollar. And the more that the U.S. dollar sinks, the higher gold and silver goes up. The more that the dollar sinks, the higher cryptocurrencies and blockchain go up. So here I am just last week on August 27th saying bullish. 
I've never been more optimistic. It's funny here. You, know, you see some of the replies, people laughing. Here, I've got Pinocchio. Like, yeah, right, Chris, that's not going to happen. Uh, here's another gif uh, from the gangster movie here, just laughing. But let's take a look at it, what actually has happened. Okay, we are hitting new highs uh, that we have not seen <laughs> in recent memory. Uh, market cap in the cryptocurrency space nearing $400 billion, I believe on its way to $1 trillion in the not-too-distant future. Massive, monumental moves from Ethereum. I'm going over a lot more details at school, by the way. Up near 10% today at 476 bucks. Bitcoin up 2%, breaking 12000 earlier this morning, still hovering around that level. XRP, which I remain very, very bullish, up near 4%. And really across the board, very, very big gain. So let's take a look at a snapshot of Ethereum. Here we are last week, right at where people thought we were troughing. I was saying, again, on record, bullish. Never been more bullish. This is what I've been telling everybody at school at BitcoinRich.com. Uh, my main thesis over the last month or so has been there's going to be a rotation into large caps like Bitcoin and Ethereum, XRP and others. And the reason for that is a lot of this profit taking, which I think is happening now and I thought would happen, you're seeing in the hysteria of all this yield farming taking place and DeFi and decentralized finance. I mean, think about it. If you're up 10x in some of these areas, what are you going to do with those profits? You're going to sell and you're going to rotate into the blue chip equivalents, in my view, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and others. And I believe that is happening now. So since that tweet, we've pretty much been moving parabolically, and we are hitting some pretty interesting levels on our way to 500 bucks. Ethereum. So I'm looking at 500 as probably the next sticking point where we may see a little resistance. But honestly, next target I have medium to long term is a thousand bucks ETH. And the reason for that, I believe we are still in the disbelief stage of a brand new bull market. I continue to remain very, very bullish based on the fundamentals of a declining dollar, more bailouts, stimulus payments to the masses, new system uh, that is being put in place right now. So again, understand, I'm incredibly bearish the real economy. I think that gets much, much worse. I'm expecting more record unemployment. I'm expecting more bailouts. I'm expecting more foreclosures. I'm expecting more people to lose their jobs and their income to decline. But again, that's not what the Federal Reserve is really interested in. They're going to just keep propping up all of these assets and then they're encouraging, this is what Jerome Powell said just about a week and a half ago, he's encouraging inflation. Okay, this is one of the reasons why home prices have pretty much been flat or on the rise in certain states like my home state back in Arizona because people are relocating, they're moving, and they're stoking inflation, right? If you can get cheap debt and cheap credit at 2% for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage, you're basically putting a floor under those prices and you're creating inflation. So you need to understand there is a distinction here. It's not that cryptocurrencies really are rising. It's just that the U.S. dollar is falling. Okay, it's not that gold is necessarily rising. It's just that the U.S. dollar is falling. So we're seeing some epic, epic moves. I do believe we are in the start and brand new disbelief phase beginning of a huge bull market. I think we are on track and we'll see $1 trillion plus dollars in market capitalization very, very soon. Also, you might want to check out OMG. I've talked about this at school. If you're interested in learning more, you can learn about how OMG is helping with the high gas fee problem uh, currently plaguing Ethereum. For example, as a result of the price increases with DeFi, yield farming, and again, I delve into a lot more of this at our academy, at our blockchain school, BitcoinRich.com. Just click the link below and join us. You really should. In fact, I had a student... A uh, brand new student say, Christopher, you know, why should I learn about blockchain? I said, well, the reason you should learn about blockchain is because this person's on social security is if you're on fixed income, you're a retiree, you're dependent on, say, a social security check of $2,000 a month. If the dollar keeps declining in value, you've got to figure out a way to keep up with inflation. Now, if you put your money in a bank, you won't even get 0%. In some cases, you'll get a negative rate of return at the big banks right now. So one of the ways to combat through stable coins, and I teach you all this, and how to earn yield is through blockchain. It's very easy to do, and it still remains one of the best alternatives in the world, in my opinion, not financial advice, to combat these massive inflationary me measures that are being pushed by a central bank and central banks around the world and the Federal Reserve. But what's very interesting about OMG, and this has been one of our better performing positions, we touched up to a billion dollars in market cap just about a couple of weeks ago. 
But this is actually a cryptocurrency that works with Ethereum kind of as an off-branch network, a secondary layer to support the first of the ETH ERC20 contract platform. So a way to get around these big fees, in fact, Vitalik, uh, the creator and founder of Ethereum, said this today. I'd pay attention to what he's saying. In fact, the last time he commented about OMG, uh, I actually started scaling in dollar cost averaging personally and buying, what was it under? I think I was buying at $1.48 and OMG is trading at about five bucks a day. So big in the money there. But Vitalik just said this earlier today, to those replying with gas fees are too high, my answer to that is, well, then more people should be accepting payments directly through ZK Sync, Loopring, and OMG, Amis Go. Seriously, scaling to 2,500 plus TPS for simple payment applications is here. We just need to use it. So I still remain very, very bullish, not just Ethereum and the large caps in general, but also OMG as a part of my altcoin portfolio. Now I go over asset allocation, how to build a portfolio. Uh, I go over how to use exchanges, pitfalls. I mean, we really have the best educational platform in the world for blockchain tech. It's great for beginners because you learn all the fundamentals and then we move to advanced topics. We're doing updates every single week. All you need is a cell phone to get started. And again, you're really joining the most exciting technology revolution that we've seen since the internet and e-commerce. And it's also a great way to hedge your bets, learn about new business opportunities, how to create income potentially, cash flows, and where all this is headed. You know, you've probably heard of quantum financial system being implemented here in the United States and worldwide. I'm also going over more detail on that and how that interrelates to stablecoin technologies and all of these new cryptos. So I remain very, very bullish. You know, it's also uh, good to take a look at total cryptocurrency market cap in general, which includes all of the cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and others, aggregated into a single chart. And you can see here that we are touching some of the recent highs put back, what was this, in late August. And I believe we have reached a critical threshold and it looks like we are going higher from here. Again, it's important to look at just probably, I think, uh, market cap in general. Right? I talked about this with OXT, even though we've had a parabolic move in Orkin, this VPN uh, network token and the Orkin protocol, which I have installed as a virtual private network that uses blockchain. Even though this chart, you look at it and it's really tough to do technical analysis on it. I mean, all you have to take a look at is the use case, it's market cap. And in my view, see that it's uh, not just an amazing tech, but is seriously undervalued uh, compared to some of its competitors like uh, Brave Browser or Bat or even CRO. In fact, we were going over CRO when the token itself came into existence when it used to be MCO, my students can vouch for this, and then they moved to Crypto.com and then CRO as its new chain, which is now what? In the top nine of the total cryptocurrency, top 10 market caps at $3.5 billion. So it looks like we are in a breakout. Also, the U.S. stock market continues to perform very, very well on the backs of uh, the big V. You guys know what the big V is. And again, all of these FANG stocks are hitting record new all time highs. So yes, and this is what you guys need to understand. Be prepared for a wave of defaults. Be prepared for bankruptcies. Be prepared for more job losses. But this is the program in a world where they're going to be instituting and pushing really what I would call socialist policies in America towards UBI, universal basic income, and certainly more bailouts. I mean, if you take a look at the U.S. debt clock, for example, it's never been higher. In fact, we're supposed to go to, I think, to $75, $78 trillion in the not-too-distant future. So they're just moving to a new financial system is what they're doing. And uh, I talk about this at school, SDRs, special drawing rights, what the new basket of stable coins will look like. In fact, they'll probably include gold and some form of precious metals with that, uh, we see a big push in China right now with the uh, digital renminbi, uh, their equivalent fiat currency, the yuan. Same thing is happening here in the United States. And honestly, I remain very optimistic because far too many people are pessimistic. Far too many people, if you go through your feeds, I was talking about this last week, are calling for you know the worst of the worst to happen. So again, the real economy, I agree with that. But in the new economy, the new tech, this new world, 
It's never been more opportunistic, and it's never been more bullish for you tuning in that are actually seizing these opportunities, learning new skills, uh, remaining vigilant, and you're going to have to be positive in an environment like this to succeed in the future. So keep learning. Stay motivated. I want to see you guys at school, bitcoinrich.com. Click the link below, activate your registration, get your right in. Otherwise, we'll keep you updated uh, with more free videos soon. God bless and Jesus Christ is King.